Hello again. Today I would like to show you how to make spinach or silver beet pie. This recipe is very similar to pizza but the topping is different and this gives it a different taste direction. So here is what we need. Sunflower oil. This is used to grease the dish. Half a teaspoon of salt. I'm using pure sea salt. Wholemeal flour about 250 grams some yeast about a quarter teaspoon mushrooms these are out of a tin leek cut into rings spinach or silver beet in this case I'm using silver beet because I have some in the garden but of course you can use frozen spinach from the supermarket nutmeg pepper and to top it off a good melting cheese Okay, let's start with the dough. First, I'll grease the dish to stop the dough from sticking. I pour a little bit of water into the bowl. Then I add the salt. then the wholemeal flour and then top the yeast I'm adding the water as I go so now I'm going to mix it The dough is exactly the same as in the previous recipes for pizza. Only I might use a little bit more flour here because um, I might need a little bit more dough. On and off I add a little bit of flour. This is mainly to keep the dough sticking to my fingers or to the bowl. So I think I just about have enough water already. So we're doing pretty well. As said before, wholemeal flour needs more water and it is not as rubbery as industrial flour. You can't expect the same, so you just have to learn to um, work with the differences but it's pretty easy so here again this dough is just about ready I'm going to add a little bit of flour to spread around the, the bowl so I can flatten the dough out and that's pretty much it this is what wholemeal flour dough should look like Oh, okay. Okay, I'm about ready to put it into the pie dish. Okay, I'm ready to put my dough into the pie dish. Let's see how I go for size. That's not too bad. Squeeze it out a little bit more. So the edges climb up the dish because I'm going to have to fill it up and that's pretty good now I'm going to put it into the oven and let it rise at about 40 degrees centigrade that's the lowest setting on this oven 
And whilst it rises, I will prepare my silhouette. Only the green leaves are usable. The trunks I cut out, like so. And they go back in the compost. These leaves I'm going to have to inspect and wash thoroughly because I don't spray. So there's likely to be snails and some insects. And of course we want to clean them up. Okay, I cut all the trunks out and I cleaned them up. I did find several snails and some insects. So what I do now, I'm going to put just a little bit of water into the pot and then I put them into my pot. I put the lid on and I will steam it. I bring the water to a boil and let it cook for about four or five minutes. Then I put it into the blender and mix it to a puree. I had to add a little bit more water. Then the sandal beach puree goes back into the pot where I mix it with a lid the mushrooms nutmeg pepper and a little bit more salt in the meantime our dough is ready and we can put on the filling Spread it out. On top goes the cheese. And it's ready for the oven. So our pie goes into the oven. And I'm going to turn it on to 250 degrees. And there it will have to cook for about 20 to 30 minutes. And here it is, spinach pie for two.